drill, 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 drill. Hey Wiz, let me talk to you a little Okay, monkey nigga, but not slip Feed your ass, but never clip Yeah, I bust your head, gas Good afternoon, good evening, listeners this is Diana Torres with Masai Entertainment on an exclusive interview with the talented Young Jock. Young Jock, how you doing today? I'm good, baby. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you for taking the time to interview with us. It's definitely a pleasure to have you here. Now, you have Thanks, a song called... Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You have a song called Yeah Boy, which is a hot side. What was your mindset when you was creating that song? Uh, it was just... It was one... Uh, you know what, man? To be honest with you... I just want them ready. I just want this stuff a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Outside of just trying to make a a, a club song, or it was more of a record for you to just ride to and just hear what the hell I'm talking about and what's on my mind. Okay, all right. Now let's talk about your song. Know what she likes, featuring Yo Gotti, which is featured on the uh, Audio Envision mixtape. The track is without a doubt a banger. How did you decide to do a feature with Yo Gotti and come up with this whole concept? Well, it's a crazy story behind it. Um, I actually uh, did the record, and uh, it was just a dude played me the beat. Uh, Don Vito, him and Scott Deason did it, and uh, he played the track for me, and, I, and I, he went past me. And I said, go back to it. I was listening to it, and I was like, you know what? That right there sounds hypnotic. It, it, it sounds like it, it puts you in a trance mm. for a minute. So I said, you know, records like that are usually good with, Women, you know what I'm saying? Good for women. So I was mm-hmm. like, I'm, I should make it a, but I, I, I was like, I should make it a uh, record for the show. I was like, no, nah, man, it's, it's too hard. That sounds like some, it sounds like a hood track. I was like, yeah, it's going to be a hood track for the females, though. <laughs> so I went in the, uh, <laughs> I went in the booth and just started just off the top of my head and came up with the hook. And, uh, I did yeah. the first verse to it. And once I did the first verse, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put Gucci on it. So I went and got Gucci to do it. But Gucci, the way he snapped on it, sounded the verse he did is the other record I have called Going Ham. So I ended up taking the record and giving it to Yo Gotti, asking him to get on it, which he did. And I took Gucci's verse and put it on the Going Ham record. So now I got two records that, that I, I like. You know what I mean? That is. Definitely. Congratulations um, to that song. And you already have shown again your versatility with the first three albums, New York City, uh, Hustle Nomics. Uh, and what do you expect from you on your upcoming album, Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood? Uh, it's just I grew up some, man, real talk. I grew up some, I lived, and I've learned a little more, you know what I mean? And just as an artist, I feel like I've grown. So when you hear some of the music, it'll, 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 it'll make you feel good. Some of the music will make you feel that same pain I was feeling when I wrote it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the inspirational records, you're going to definitely be inspired. You know, I feel like it's going to be songs on there for uh, quite a few. I can't say for everybody. I just, I, I'm, I, I that was, that's kind of where I went wrong at trying to please everybody. And I said, you know mm-hmm. what? I don't, I'm not going to try to please nobody. I'm just going to do me feel good, man, and whatever comes from my heart. And so that's what I just started doing, and I, and I feel like it's, it's, it's going to work for me. Right, and and with that said, I I can see that you have grown not only as an artist but as an entrepreneur with a new label under your belt, uh, Swag Team Entertainment. How did all that uh, get started? What do you look for in an artist? I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I just look for anyone who's natural at what they do. You know what I mean? Anyone Mm -hmm. who's natural with what they do, man, that's that's basically what, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all it's about being able to convey how you feel emotionally through your music, you know what I mean? And if you and if you can do it naturally, then more people can relate and, and accept it for what it is, you know? Yes, yes, definitely. So what are some of the challenges you have encountered on your journey to success? Like how have you been able to upcome, uh, overcome some of these obstacles? I mean, you know, that was one of the reasons why I came entertainment came about uh, because I felt like, there were some things that I was uh, objected to that I felt like were good, and there were some that I felt like were um, not necessary. But I can't say that because the good and the bad both together, that's how you learn. You know what I'm saying? Experience oh, yeah. is going to be the yeah. best teacher with anything. So 
I decide, you know, so I want to put it to the test. Because, you know, we always think we, we have the best as a solution for mm-hmm. some of the things that we go through in life. You know what I mean? And you don't yeah, really know it until you actually put yourself to the test. And I'm a firm believer in, in, in uh, growing one's self-worth and your own brand. So that's what made me start Swag Team Entertainment. That is. I'm sure that means a lot to the viewers. Um, and, and what expi- inspired you to become an artist? So who are your musical influences? I mean, I, I've always liked to entertain. But if I'm on some, some silly stuff and I want, and I feel like just making a room full of people laugh, I, I do it so naturally. It's second nature, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, and then what when it, when it, no, go, go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. No, go no, ahead. I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say that when like, uh, and whenever I'm doing music, I try to figure out the best way to relate to people. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. You know what I mean? Mhm. So, as an artist, who would you like to work with in the future that you haven't worked with um, previously, of course? Uh, I definitely would like. Do you have to any artists particular in mind that you know you haven't worked with? Uh, like I said, Drake. And, and mm, okay. I would I would like to do something with uh, Usher. Definitely. Oh yeah. I like to do something with Usher. Uh, I should. Mm. And Mary J. Blige. All very, very great artists. I hope they can definitely uh, work with you one day. Uh, it would definitely be an honor to hear you guys on a track. Now, if I were to turn on your iPod right now, what the artists would I see uh, in your most recently playlist? Is it one of the ones you are, you just mentioned? Uh, you definitely gonna find some Mary. You'll find some Mary because mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I have to step away from just rap and I have to listen to some that they. That can give me the same feeling and passion without it just being right. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna mm-hmm. find some Mary, you're gonna find some Ross, you might find some um, some old school Outkast, Good and Mark. You might find, <laughs> you might find <laughs> some some old school Snoop. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. When I say old school. It's just certain classic records that I love by these uh, artists that I'm naming. You know what I mean? You definitely gonna find some swag team and some T.O. Greens and Doshans and Jumboy. You know what I'm saying? It just it, it, it is what it is, man. Like you know, for me, you might find anything. Sometimes, like like when I'm riding, I don't even listen to music in the car. Sometimes, because I'm always trying to, like, you know, it's like when I get in the car. That's the only time I really have to think to myself. Cause every, everything else, I'm around music. If I ain't in front of a camera, I'm on the stage. If I ain't on the stage, I'm in the studio in front of a mic. So you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't even get a chance to listen to music outside of doing music. Definitely. Okay, so you listen to Mary a lot. So with that said, now it's the time to ask this question for all the ladies out there. What type of female catches your eye, young job? Um, you know, I like um I like intelligent women. You know, mm. I like women who are um compassionate about life. I like women who are know how to take care of a man, you know what I'm saying? And when I say take care of a man, I don't mean in a chauvinistic way, like, you know, just cook and clean. I just, you know, uh, just be a woman who understands how important uh, our rapport is and understanding what freedom, even in a relationship, means. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. me, I'm the type of dude, like, I ain't, I'm the type of dude, if a woman got to go try to look through my phone and, Stuff like that, be on on, on on your Facebook page and all that, trying to find out about a woman. I ain't with that because she, she's just not confident enough for me. I want a woman that's, that knows. That's what makes a man come home. When his woman know everything good and she treat it like that. Even if it ain't, she got to make you feel that way. Because as a man, we got to do it. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if we live together, right, and I'm the man and I got to take care of the bills, I can't let you worry, can I? Oh, okay. You As a you know, I should make you feel secure in, in our situation that everything gonna be all right. And as a woman, she has to do the same thing. So, you know, it, you know, it's one of them things where I don't, I don't like a, a a timid woman, and I don't like a woman who doesn't fully know how to express herself. Is that a thumbs okay. up for you? Well, you heard that, ladies. You know, you gotta be confident for young Jack, and you gotta know what you want. So, uh, so if you weren't in the music industry rapping, what other field would you most likely be pursuing? Uh, I'd probably be an attorney. Where? An attorney. An attorney. Okay. 
So what yeah. do you think uh, the biggest difference between rappers trying to make it in the industry a decade ago versus rappers trying to make it today? Uh, I think today is uh, I think today is a lot easier to make it. Honestly. And, and why that, do you like, say that? Because you have more outlets to be seen. Now it's not just about uh, if you got a hit record. It's about, you know, being relative. Mm. I mean, let's just so, straight up. 50 Tyson, ain't, 50 Tyson is not jamming. Let's keep it 100. But he's successful mm. in my book. You see what I'm saying? Mm. He's successful in my book. But, I, mean, I know I'm exactly what you're saying. I'm saying he's, I mean, I, 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 can, I couldn't listen to some of his music. I, I love his ambition. I love the fact that he's able to do what he does. You know what I'm saying? That's that's inspiring like hell to me. But mm -hmm. am I gonna listen to it after I listen to it one time just see what he's talking about? Am I gonna pop back in like that jam? I don't I don't know. I haven't listened to enough of his music to feel like I'm I'm caught up on it. But what I'm saying is he's relevant to the point that he's remained good in a viral sense. Where he's he's gonna always pop up on your on your mind. That's successful to me. If he came from nothing and he's going out, if he ain't getting but two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars a show, hey, mm -hmm. that's great. How many people you know this couple can go get three, four thousand dollars for people to gather around and hear what they got to say? You feel me? Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so what so I just trying to so many, Yeah. So many other mediums are at your disposal. So many more mediums are at your disposal right now because the internet, man. I mean, come on, man. Yes. I mean, with Twitter, with MySpace, with Facebook. I'm sorry, MySpace yeah. is kind of a, a dead, a dead end right now. But I, there's you know so what? many different not networks. Not really, not really. I you know what? Not really, man. This was weird about it. Not really. You'd be surprised, man. Some people will still resort back to your MySpace page for information on you. Mm, you know what I'm okay. You, you'll yeah. be surprised, and, and, man. Because when I'm out of the country, you know, I tour, I, I, I tour outside the country a lot. I mean, like, a lot. And people always ask me first, what's your MySpace page? Then really? Like, what's your Twitter? And your, well, what's your MySpace, Facebook? What's your Twitter? Yeah. In some places, I mean, it's still a it's still a tool, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people did mm. such good jobs at setting them up that, you know, it made it easier to understand the Twitter and the Facebook. But, I mean, I don't think, you know, I, I'm not going to ask you right off the rip. What's your MySpace? But if I'm if I'm trying to find out some info for you, I go back and look through your MySpace, see what type of stuff was on there, see how many fans you had, you know what I'm saying? See what type of stuff you posted, whether you posted something lately, recently or not. I would still just you know go back and see. And you're right because a lot of artists have been discovered on MySpace, and I mean yeah. especially YouTube. That's one of the biggest uh, tools out there right now. Um, yeah. So, uh, lastly, I guess my question to you is: Are there any shout outs you want to throw out there uh, from Side Entertainment right now? Besides who? I, I no. I, I mean, are there any shout outs you want to throw out there? Uh, I mean, man, big shout out to anybody out that's trying to do it, man. Big shout out to my loyal fans. Big shout out to the people who were my fans and ain't quite sure about me no more. Big shout out to the haters too, man, because I need, you know what I'm saying, the more y'all hate, the more the ones love me, love me. You did. Uh -huh. And then, you know, big shout out to all the other coming artists out there who trying to do what they're doing. I'll tell you straight up, put the best foot forward, man. Put God first, man. Plan your work, work your plan, and everything else is irrelevant. That is. You heard, ladies and gentlemen, Young Jock on Sci Entertainment. I thank you for your time. You have yourself a great and productive day, and uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you as well. Uh, take care. Drill, 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 dr